Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy AM coming to you with an AM vlog. And today, what I'll be talking about is how I maintain my long and curly hair. As you've seen in the videos, I have luscious and very full and very thick hair. Thankfully, it comes from my genetics. As you saw in my DNA video, I'm a mixture of a lot of things. Primarily, I'm Native American. I come from the Diné Navajo tribe um, that's located in northern Arizona. I was raised there and there's a thing that they have, they have a saying there is called Navajo Fro. And so when like little boys would get like little buzz cuts and then they just let it grow out naturally, their hair will just like start growing out like this and it doesn't fall and it keeps extending because the hair is so thick until eventually it will fall down due to the weight. And so I have the, exactly the same thing, but I also got other things that um, kind of get throw a wrench into the mix. I'm also, you know, Mexican, Hispanic, and so I have curly hair. Um, a lot of Native Americans typically don't have too much curly hair unless they're like, you know, mixed like I am. So it's just a bunch of stuff that, that kind of like culminates into like, this hodgepodge of issues that I run into. And so one of the things that I like to do is I like to take a lot of showers and naturally that's not good for your hair because you want to have a lot of oils in it, especially you have long hair. The longer, the more oils you have in your hair, the more healthy it will be. But then when you take a lot of showers, you wash out those oils. What ends up happening is you'll get a lot of frizz because you washed out all the natural oils that keeps the hair down. And couple that with like, you know, my Navajo Fro, it gets kind of um, unwieldy to maintain these luscious locks. What I'm gonna do today is share with you how I um, maintain these curls and also how I get this really nice, like, you know, full wavy head of hair. Uh, it's, it's kind of a, an ingenious thing that I was able to figure out. And so it's just really interesting what, I've, what solution I've come up with. I decided to grow it out because, you know, I saw friends growing their hair out during the pandemic and I got kind of jealous because I used to have long hair back when I was in like grade school. I was going through my like alternative phase, listening to like Nirvana and grunge music. And so I grew my hair pretty long during then and I would have it like, you know, parted down the middle, you know, like that and walking around all sad and stuff in the desert. But after a while, I just like, you know, cut my hair and I had it short for probably for, I don't know, 20 years, 30 years until the pandemic hit, I started to grow it out and I haven't had it ever since. When you have long hair, your hair will tend to just like fall out. Not because it's like, you know, you're going bald or anything like that. It's just that it gets caught on things, you're brushing it, it get caught in the teeth and it just rips it up. Um, you'll get little knots at the end of your hair and then when you're brushing your hair, you'll have to brush a knot out and obviously the hair will come out of it as well. Just every little thing you do to it, your hair will like just naturally fall out. And this happens to PM as well because around our AM PM studios, you'll find my hair and PM's hair. Especially if you're like in the shower, all of our hair is like accumulates at the drain. And so we have to make sure that our, like, you know, our plumbing is, uh, is properly serviced so that the water can can go down because having long hair it takes a lot of work. Also, when you have long hair, you have to like make sure that you have hair ties on hand because when it gets time to get down to business, you have to tie the hair up. And when you don't have a head uh, hairband, it's really hard to like get things done because when it's like flipping left and right and in your face and stuff like that, or you're cooking, you know you don't want hair all over the place. And so you have to make sure that you have a hair tie on you. I said a hair band, but I don't want a hair tie on you so you can like, tie it up into a nice little bow. I don't usually part it down the middle like I did back in the day. Now I go from the side because as I grow older, the thing I've noticed is that I start to get like a more pronounced widow's peak. It's not like I don't have a widow's peak, but the right here kind of like recesses a little bit. Um, so what I tend to do is just use the, the hair to cover, to cover that up and then just kind of make it a little more symmetrical up here. So when I... When I'm trying to maintain my hair, I have a few pet peeves that I try to avoid. One thing is when it comes to products, I don't like feeling greasy at all. And so when I put stuff on my hair, I don't want to touch it and feel the grease. That's one thing I hate. Because when you have grease in your hair, it gets all over the place, and especially in your forehead. 
that's that's very unpleasant. Um, same thing with lotion. Some people love having really greasy lotion on them and putting it on their skin and then feeling that, you know, throughout the day. I don't like that at all. When I put lotion on, I wanted it to moisturize my skin and but I want it to feel dry. Same thing with my hair. And when you buy all these different types of products, you put it into your hair, you get different results. And so that becomes really hard to like find stuff that works for you. And so what I'm gonna do in this blog is share what I found out that seems to work perfectly for me. And maybe if you wanna try it, um, it's something that you can do. PM has also been with me on this journey uh, in making sure that I was able to maintain my hair. Jonathan Van Ness, and he created this hair product called JVN. And so I ended up picking up that product. Um, here's one of them. This is what is called the air dry cream. This thing is actually pretty popular. If you try to go to like Sephora and buy this thing, it's like always sold out. So this thing is the bee's knees. People know it, I know it. It's kind of hard to find. What you typically will do is you'll get a small amount and then you'll rub it through your hair and it'll give you a natural like hair texture and shine. And then when you blow dry it, it'll make your hair like really nice, soft and fluffy and vibrant as mine is. You also need to use other stuff to, to kind of maintain the hair. And so what I ended up doing is picking up his other product, which is the instant, the instant recovery serum so this is like helps your hair with its growth and maintaining you know not having split ends and just helping your hair out quite a bit so i picked that up as well and i've been using it a lot and it works really really well too because it just keeps your whole hair nice and healthy and so those are the two products that i i, I use the thing that i've also found out that is that because of the, the way my hair is naturally it can be very unwieldy and so i also need some other products to help maintain you know this this mane because if i just use only these two products the hair just goes you know it just explodes what i needed was like a gel and i also didn't want it to be like so like stiff i wanted to use a cream to kind of like you know give it the natural curls and things like that and so i'm a huge fan of jack black and so i've been using their um, texture cream as well as their hair gel to be able to maintain my hair. So those are the four products I use, but what makes it really unique is that I like mix it all into one little serum, like as you can see here, and I use this for my hair. Um, I have like a little sticker that I put on it, but yeah, I, I combined all of these products into one and I use it in the morning. After I take a shower, I will just use this one full serum and I'll put it through my hair and I'll let it naturally um, air dry. And then my hair becomes beautiful like this, which is really awesome because I don't really have to do too much. So it's just really, really, really nice. And sometimes like, you know, when you're like out and about hiking or doing work or exercising, and you're doing a lot of sweating, then you, you know, it kind of washes out the product. What you can do is just grab a little bit more of this, squirt it in your hand, just rub it through and then you'll get your beautiful hair back as well as maintaining you know the frizziness or you know whatever happens to your hair and so this pot these products i've been using are really awesome i i really really enjoy it i think this is the perfect solution if you want to like have we have long hair and you want to try it out i think it'd be great don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you just like you know want to like your hair to like feel like great after putting this in use this one air dry cream you ask anybody this is the bee's knees this is the thing that everybody uses and you, when you blow dry it makes your hair look amazing shiny silky smooth i can't i can't recommend this enough everybody knows and then these last two products are great because these things are not crazy so like the hair gel a lot of times when you put it in you're, it gets like really sometimes it gets really stiff and it gets flaky you don't get it with this this will not leave any flakes or anything like that and the texture cream is nice it doesn't some texture creams that you use will make your hair really greasy and oily all day long this one once you put in will dry out and then you won't feel it it'll be nice and dry and it'll feel great that is it for my video blog i hope you enjoy it and let me know if you want to know other hacks that I do personally to maintain my coolness. Um, let me know in the comments and then I'll see if we can do a video on that. And other than that, I give you a big fat peace.